okay here is another question what is the difference between the manual flag on the pricing procedure versus uh, the manual override flag at the condition record level manual flag in pricing procedure versus manual override in condition type when do you use each of these so i'm talking about these things in the pricing procedure there is a flag at the condition type level that says that that condition type is a manual condition type on the other hand at the condition type level meaning pr00 or you know ek00 any condition type there is a field called manual entries where the options are free or automatic entry has priority so on and so forth what is the difference between these two fields which one supersedes the other or which one takes priority over the other so on and so forth to understand this better let's analyze each one of these so when is the manual flag in the pricing procedure used the manual flag in the pricing procedure is used typically for header conditions you know header conditions don't have condition records right they are not determined by the process of condition record maintenance so how are they determined they are determined manually you enter a header condition record manually in the order header right you take any example of a header condition type it's always manual other examples are something like externally determined condition types they are more or less manual except that you don't have to manually insert them they'll be inserted automatically via an external process example is rrb so when you run the rrb process dp90 the entries for costs are calculated and put in the ek01 ek02 conditions by the system but typically they are more or less like manual conditions so what is the point the point is any condition type that you don't want to be determined via the process of condition record is marked as manual in the pricing procedure so when, why do you mark it as manual because can only be entered manually we'll see an example in a bit another property is cannot be determined via condition record so examples header conditions or conditions determined via external processes example rrb ek01 costs header conditions i think you understand right so let's take an example so you go to the standard pricing procedure set pr00 to manual okay what happens let's go create an order va01 or 1010 customer 1400 basically i'm choosing data so that the pricing procedure rva01 gets data mined and then material m01 so what's the price here 0 dollars does a condition record exist for m01 it does trust me on that so if you go to the pricing behind m01 click on analysis So what do you see against PR zero zero? It says manual condition condition record missing. Because we have marked that condition type as manual in the pricing procedure, 
it's treating that condition type as manual and it's expecting that you enter a price like how like so pr00 say $100 it'll take it right $100 all good now does a condition record exist yes it does and why is it not being determined it's not being determined because we have marked that condition type as manual in the pricing procedure now we're able to enter this manually and that is because if you go to the definition of pr00 it says that manual entry has priority that's the reason why i was able to manually override or enter the price at pr00 now what if pr00 was not manual it was automatic if i try to enter pr00 again the manual price will supersede the one that was determined automatically via the condition record that's what this entry manual entry has priority dictates sometimes you might want to set it to d d is typically set for condition types that are determined externally via some kind of a process for example no limitations means just no limitations you can do whatever you want manual automatic anything automatic entry has priority this means that if a condition type is determined via a condition record then that is given preference over entering it manually so that means that you cannot process manually if a condition record exists all right so manual entry has priority what this means is even though a condition record exists it can be overridden manually now the third possibility is not possible to process manually so what this means is you cannot so you cannot enter a condition type manually like how i have entered pr00 in the previous example now when do you use each one of these now you don't want to process condition types manually in certain case example external tax condition types example utxj xr1 these are condition types that are determined via an external process say vertex or tax or say bricks because you don't know what the tax rate is and whatever that external system returns you don't want somebody else to go and manipulate it and that's the reason why they are typically set to d not not able to process manually how about c even though a condition record exists it cannot be overridden manually this is done if you don't want the user to override that condition records value via some other value even though a condition record exists can be overridden manually so the example that we have seen is pr00 right so pr00 is an example of a condition type that can be overridden manually even though a condition record exists when do we want to use that so even though a condition record exists if you want the user to override that value say the price of a uh, an iphone is 600 dollars and if you want the user to override the value to 590 550 you can set it to c the other example is cannot process manually so even though a condition record exists whatever has been determined is determined it could be via a condition record or it could be via uh, an alternate calculation routine doesn't matter irrespective whatever the condition type has calculated should remain it cannot be changed example is vprs the standard cost condition type it's pulled from the material master right the accounting view and it's a statistical condition type you don't want the user to go change it 
isn't it so any time something that's been determined should not be changed by the user because you want that value to remain it represents something something that has been determined by a process and should not be changed by the user the user can override something else you know maybe some other parameters that can affect this but not that particular condition type so in cases like that you set to cannot process it manually or b so this is b this is c this is d 